Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Patreon Suggests for week number three. XCOM 2 came up this week. I actually planned to get this out on a Sunday, but it turns out this game is about 40-something gigs and takes you know, like five days to download. Uh, you live, you learn. So, thank you to my patrons this week for their support, and we're going to be jumping in to XCOM 2. I played XCOM Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within, and in ye olde times, I played the original XCOM and Terror from the Deep. So, I, I'm actually a fairly decent veteran, well, the experience, XCOM 2 players only. Eh, probably fine for me. Yeah, I'll probably need a tutorial. Uh, sure, give me the beginner stuff, and subtitles are good. So, for those of you that don't know what XCOM is, and what rock you've been living under, XCOM is a series in which aliens invade the Earth. And I believe XCOM 2 continues XCOM, the old XCOM, Enemy Unknown, after you lose the game. Which is always a lovely way to continue things forward. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. The Advent administration reminds you to report all suspicious activity to your nearest Approaching position. You were right. Definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. Wait, Jesus Christ, is that Bradford? Damn. They got a new voice actor and everything for him. I just like, hang on, no, that face is way too familiar. That's no. Central Officer Bradford from XCOM and the Unknown. Signal received. Loud and clear. Okay, Gatecrasher. Your turn. I don't even know if anyone can hear me over this. Probably not. Alright. First things first. You need to get out of sight. Grab some cover near that low wall. Copy that. Moving up. Oh dear, I've made a terrible mistake entering the tutorial. I do know how to play XCOM. Like this full cover right here. Alright. Crasher two. Stay close. Keep pace with Crasher One. Alright. Go there. Double time. 
So unfortunately, the tutorial in XCOM, generally speaking, is horrifyingly overly scripted. They're holding position. We're gonna have to go through them. Stay out of sight until we're ready to strike. Copy that. Keep to the shadows until you're absolutely set. We'll only get one shot at this. In the shadows. Concealed. Most missions start with the squad in concealment. Use concealment to set up ambushes. If any of your soldiers are spotted, all your soldiers lose the benefit of concealment. Presumably that's the detection radius then. So I'm free to move wherever I uh, so please outside of that area then. Alright, so I can more or less risk-free dash. Don't get too close. They'll be spotted for sure and we'll lose our advantage. Well, they're clustered up. Hopefully we have grenades. I mean, we really shouldn't be here. We should be up here. Because then we get the height advantage as well, but... Who am I to criticize the tutorial, right? Seriously, can you just toss a pair of frags on them right about now? It'd be great. Mm -hmm. to engage. Do it. No grenades, I see. Well, alright. Fire weapon. Alright, guess we'll go with 68. Go for it. Not exactly an ideal engagement, but this is the tutorial. It's actually impossible to fail this because I believe each and every uh, shot fired by everybody is like literally scripted as to hit or miss and how much damage it does. They can see you now. How about you all shoot first and celebrate later? No problem. I agree with this statement. Really? This is a... Sure. This is a terrible idea, but all right. No shit, huh? Like I said, I haven't actually played this game before. Uh, apparently there's an item we can grab. Thankfully, the... Enemy is actually worse than our tutorial force AI. Ooh. Oh, you're dead then. Or no. She's dead. There we go. Do you not hear the woman? She literally just said, watch your flanks. But all right. Nice work. Press the advantage before they get around you. Mm -hmm. Let's see how you like this. So now he moves here and flanks us. Well, you don't have to move there, but... Hey, hey, it's Bradford. In. You're late. What have you been doing down there? Taking in the sights. What the hell are these things? They're us. At least they used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's going to change. Let's move. Looks like that transmission went through. You have an advent transport closing on your position. You heard her. Cover the left side. All right. 
rotate the camera. Mm. Handy. I'm on it. All right. Keep your eyes peeled. Fire on anything so move. should I be like trying to do something about that? Uh, Overwatch. Hey, we finally learned to use that. We got a scope. Nice. And then you move here. Alright. I mean, I would have put you on Overwatch, but hey, what do I know? You can tell this is a tutorial because we've hit every shot thus far. But no. Can I please not just flank the fuck out of him and kill him? No. Fine. It's like, why would I do that? They left themselves exposed for crying out bloody loud. Fine, I guess. You should be able to cut right through the door's security protocols. They were never expecting anyone to get this close. Oh. Four. Heck. Disguised signal soldiers immediately gain concealment. Override. If I'm from the next two attacks. Probably not going to get either one of them, but we'll try. 6% and 2%. Oh, no, success. Lock the door. Good. Let's go. Alright. Moving to secure the package. Let's hope our intel was good. This is the place. Are you sure? Yes. Looks like there's an access panel attached. If you got me a better look, I might be able to... Next time. unit. Grab them. The entire advent security grid just lit up. Firebrand is holding nearby for evac, but it's now or never central. Understood. We're on the move. You're standing up, so you're going to get shot. Hey, we do have grenades. Fire in the hole. Works for me. 
I mean, that... Sure, whatever. This, this mission has been so badly executed. Almost there. Stay focused. But that's XCOM tutorials for you. I figured I should do it because I did learn at least a few things. You're dead. Right yeah, that's because you didn't get in the cover. Woohoo. Scripted miss. Way too close. Oh. Call Scaring Dracon and press P to place an evac zone. Select target and confirm placement with the left mouse button. Keep moving. You don't need to tell me twice. We're coming home. Alright, evac. So, what about her? Yeah. Oh, good. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Let's get on with it. Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. We were still calling it a war back then. coming. Response from the cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. I've managed to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe... No plan B here, people. Do it. Response normal. Vital stabilizing. Procedure complete. Told them it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. I appreciate the nod to Command and Conquer. <laughs> and also, apparently, that's us that we just rescued. Chris, remind me never let Central Officer Bradford guide a mission. You're finally coming in. His tactics are terrible. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still. Can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. 
Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but uh, a lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You uh, feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. All right. So, research. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. On your order, Commander. I will begin researching the Advent chip for possible insights as to its function. All right. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. And then we're going to see Doctor Shen Engineering. I take it. For a while. In the meantime, you might want to head down to the armory. Commander, to the... Commander, Jane Kelly was instrumental in the op to get you back. She earned enough experience for a promotion. We should take care of that now. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. New ability slash attack enemy with movement range with your sword. Interesting. We're off to a good start. Our troops will only get stronger as they gain experience. Not not sure I particularly enjoy that. My my tactics tend to involve a lot more shock and awe. Where's the guy with the rocket launcher? <laughs> uh, I heard you, Shen. When we get the thing, you'll be the first to know. Attention. Unauthorized presence detected. Commander, give me a second. Execute Echelon Protocol. Attention. Senior Command Exchange confirmed. I had wanted that to be a little more ceremonious, but we've got something. A local resistance cell just located this hybrid magnetic power converter that Shen's been pushing us to find. They tracked the device to a nearby Advent convoy and are attempting to take it down. If we can bring this converter back in one piece, we might actually get this place up and running and give the aliens a real war for a change. The squad is prepped and ready to launch on your order, Commander. Just give the word. Alright, so we got... Three rookies and a ranger. All right. And I can't remove her. Great. All right. <laughs> well, at least she has a grenade. In that case, let's get to it. Operation Flying Bell. Recover the advent power converter. On the plus side, this, uh, this should be out of the tutorial now, I believe, so... Things will actually matter. In the area have gone dark, which can only mean one thing. These people sacrificed everything to give us this shot. We need to recover that converter at all costs. 
Alright. You have charging melee attack. Noted. Tip ambush man and overwatch before breaking concealment. Got it. It's a power converter. Why is it hooked up to anything? It should not be receiving power input. Alright, so I suppose I can just sprint freely, more or less. Since we have this uh, whole concealment thing, I don't have to risk, you know, just exposing 80,000 pods of aliens. Handy that. So, Converter Overlord, Overlord, Overload, 8 turns until destroyed. That shouldn't be too bad. Even at a slow pace, 8 turns, it should be f far more than needed. I'm on the move. Right. Okay. Still got nothing spotted. How far away was this? Jesus Christ, we're almost there. There's been absolutely no uh, no word of resistance. The oh, finally. Seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Commander, we have a chance to do some serious damage here. Yeah. Before jumping into combat, let's make sure we make the most of our advantage. Affirmative. No kidding. It'll take me a turn to set that up, but it's fine. Yeah, we can just move forward. We just need to get everyone to a close enough position. Oh, hmm. No, they patrol. So setting up an ambush, not quite as easy. What? Okay, no. Okay. I thought I was like, what? Wait, what? Did things just break? Did, con did we just lose concealment? All right, can you get a sight on these bastards? Thank you. Right. Heading to that location. Okay. On my way. Perfect. This is far from ideal, but if they're patrolling, I guess it's probably the best I've got. Alright, everyone else will need the Overwatch bonus. So we'll give a uh, first shot or to Jane Kelly here. That's a guaranteed kill, more or less. I can't not take the shot on that. That's the stuff. Target eliminated. We're busted. We're boxing. And he moved, so we've got three more overwatches. Excellent. Better than expected. Promotion earned. Good. Alright. So we are, yeah, we are not in concealment anymore. So as far as I'm concerned, this is now more standard play. Okay. You should be able to hack into that thing's safety protocols and stabilize it. Shen is uploading the fix right now. Oh, activated a pod. Forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Right, well, let's see, what do we got here? Closing on target position now. 
Well, it's not great, but it'll do. In that case, we'll uh, we'll take the wide approach here. I was hoping to have you do something else, but ah oh, shit, you're out of range. Crap! All right, Overwatch then. I thought she would have range, and that would be a flank. But no. All right, probably should just put him in cover. Don't get desperate. Don't do stupid things. And yeah, Some solid rules to remember. You're not the one who's going to get shot, so... But at 27%, not a fucking chance. Just overwatch. Good. Damn, he's too close to the power converter for us to flush him out with a nade, then. Marked. Well, they he marked the one in high cover. Oh, come on. Alright. He'll live. It's fine. Oh, she was hit. Yeah. Yeah, I've noticed they seem to have shotguns. Handy tools, but... Let's see then. Open this up. We're just going to do this the old-fashioned way. Now you, I need you to move forward. Because I'm not sure what the throw range on frags are, and at this point I'm too afraid to ask. Yeah, you, you can't. Alright, in that case, you just need to kill him. That's the stuff. a girl. Don't worry, you don't need any more. Now this unfortunate saw it up here. Like I said, he's a little close to the power converter, but it should be fine. Let's not take any risks. Good. Note that it say, states neutralize all targets as a objective in my uh, top left, but does not state that it is completed. Therefore, I can only assume there's more hostilities. If we don't stabilize the converter soon, I don't think anybody's going home today. Yeah, yeah, we got three turns to make this. All right. Hack away. Increase by 25. Well, we don't know what a dark event is, and income is usually pretty good, so we'll go with that, even though it's probably not going to. Oh, nice. Guess we got lucky. All right. Chances. Eliminate all remaining hostiles in the area before evac. Mm hmm. Got it. Alright, we'll get you over here. Closing on target position now. Okay. We haven't alerted the next group yet, so we're still okay. I don't really have anywhere to put you, though. So we'll have to hopefully keep you a little bit back. They're alerted. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now right. includes human DNA. 
they are stronger than ever. Well, we've got these bastards badly outflanked right now. Yeah, you don't have any outflankage, and that's full cover, so here would be a pretty good position for you to take up. Yeah, take out the far one. Miss. Flank on two. We better at least get one of them killed. Yeah, I'll worry about the second one later. That's good. I can work with that. Mm -hmm. Ammo is low right now, which is kind of a problem. But I need to try and press our uh, advantage of the enemy being flanked like hell right now. So... We'll, we'll have to just worry about the sectoid later. Alright, good. I don't know this enemy's capabilities, but uh, I'm hoping it ain't too bad. Mm. You have a shotgun, but you're not that good. No, too easy to be flanked there. You're really low on health. I'm tempted to say that you go here and just reload. We're going to be needing to do that anyway. Alright. Oh dear, the sectoids have psionic powers. Zombification powers. No respite for the dead. The aliens have found a way to mind control them now. Alright. Well, killing that's rather useless then. Instead. Alright, what, what is our current state? You've got a shot. You're out. You've got two shots. You're full. It might be worth uh, just rushing the sectoid, I think. We should be able to take him down. I mean, he's got five health, no cover now. Oh. No, apparently still full cover. Well, that might put a slight damper in my plans. Hopefully not, though. All right. Engage the rush. Should be fine. Now. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get it. Yeah, yeah, you didn't. Fuck it. Well, that worked. Okay, maybe I didn't give the sword enough credit. Illyrium core and alien data cache. Now, I'm going to wager that dies. Yes, it does. Good. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Soldiers wounded. Yep. Rating excellent. Done. Operation Flying Bell. Recover the power converter. Successful shot percent, 50%. Yep. Yeah. Average damage per attack, 3.57. Average enemy killed per turn, 0 0.88. And average cover bonus, 26.88. Yeah. I'm more interested to see how many people we can get up stacked up with some rocket launchers here. Because mm. I do enjoy my explosives. Gravely wounded for 18 days, like I care. He'll be fine. Yeah, promote. What are you? Alright, specialist, aid protocol. Defense. 
Hmm, I might actually, yeah, so you're basically a support. Alright. Cool. I mean, you might be worth bringing then. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. I have a strange feeling I'm just going to get one of each here. Oh man, you mean you get squad sight right away? Damn. That's pretty good. Alright. Serving as our demolitions expert, hey. grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. My kind of guy. Right here. Sorry, squatty. Benjamin Lee, grenadier, launch grenade. Rather than throwing them, this allows for greater range and grenade capacity. Ooh, I like. All right. These items should prove useful in our ongoing efforts against the aliens. When you have a moment, Commander, I have made some interesting discoveries as they relate to the implants we removed from you earlier. Very well. Uh, value my intent, I can take my entire team's resources to decrypt the impulse and ensure we cover a large amount of intel stored within. Why are you all just standing around? It's perfect. <laughs> Come on, let's get it inside. Jump to engineering. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You were probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Well, the man was like Dad 70. And it's been 20 years, so... To get us this far. Yeah, this fair enough. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. Can you make me an army of those robots? I can't promise any miracles, Commander, but I should be able of course to put some of this stuff together in no time at all. <laughs> Like, I want an army of those robots. Enough to blot out the sun. No? Okay. Well. So we can make med kits. And brush our solution. That one exposed air acts as a sealant insulator infused with painkills, antiseptics, med kit can treat wounds, including burns and poisons. Noted. Looks like Tygen has made progress on his research. We should meet him in the lab. Okay. There's this so much story. Much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had no. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip 
bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the gene therapy clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. Examine the Advent Officer's Corpse. Well, luckily we have a few of those. ...modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. Modular weapons, Sector Da, obviously. Advent Officer, Corpse. I mean, extra armor would be really handy. It's three days for any of them, so we'll start with better armor. Find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Okay. Like Shen got that converter up and running, Commander. We're ready for you on the bridge. To the bridge. Just stay clear of the perimeter. Understood. Commander. Good. I think we got something here. Despite all of Advent's efforts. There are still people who refuse to believe their lies, and it's time we let them know they're not alone. We've already located a target for our first operation. Sir, given our current location, there's actually no way the Sky Ranger could reach that position. Who said anything about the Sky Ranger? Shen, status report. Are we ready? Short answer? Yes. But you might all want to hold on to something. Now, not to complain, but we can detect an ICBM, like a, 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 a missile, you know, no more than 10 feet circular diameter uh, being launched. Every freaking satellite would pick that up. <laughs> Especially considering the amount of energy that thing is giving off. Like, our modern day tech would be capable of detecting that miles away. <laughs> that was not stealthy in the slightest. Alright. Destroy the alien relay. Okay. It looks like Shen prepped a med kit for us. We should equip one of our soldiers with it before they deploy. Let's get ourselves a uh, another rookie up and running here, because we're going to want more. More explosives. I think I'm probably going to end up wanting to run a support, two explosives, and maybe a sharpshooter. Well, uh, well, we'll get another rookie as well. Screw it. Uh, I guess I have to equip the med kit first, don't I? Uh, let me guess. It's instead of a grenade, right? Yes. Can I not bring the med kit? Okay, good. That's fine. Because <laughs> I don't care much for the med kit. Truth be told. Once they're wounded, they're wounded. Unfortunately, they don't have armor values yet, so med kit's not super useful. The med kit's super useful to restore armor values before that way their actual health is touched. A hidden alien communications relay in this area is being used by Advent to transmit critical data back to their network. The loss of that data will stop their latest project in its tracks. So we're moving in to destroy the relay before they complete the transfer. We're expecting a strong Great shots, only partial damage forces. is applied. Interesting. Them and secure the site. Be damned if this loading screen isn't laggy as all hell. Operation Hammer Shriek. Come on. Thank you. Alright, so for our final mission for this uh, video, let's do it.
This shouldn't be too hard. In the middle of a convenience store. We're in concealment. Okay. Well. Rolling. We'll take the high road. Oh. We're visible here. Well, surprise. <laughs> Can we not just knife a dude? Oh well. Roger that. And yeah, so he's a civilian, I guess. We can't do anything to him. But he's gonna go, you know, tell Advent all about us. Jerk. Alright, let's get our team up there. Up to the roof. We'll have a high advantage, and we've got full cover. Should be perfectly safe from whatever Advent decides to throw at us. If anything. Okay. Position confirmed. I got eyes on Advent troops. Mm -hmm. They're also being flanked right now. I expected this. Alright, withdraw. That's fine. Let's fix a problem, shall we? Interesting. A, that did four damage, not three. B, that didn't hurt the sectoid. Noted. That's yeah, 70%. Go for it. At those odds, I'm alright taking shots. Unfortunately, our explosive guy's a little exposed there, but it doesn't matter. I wanted to—I was considering trying to get a second grenade down on that with this guy to try and force the explosion, but looks like it doesn't matter. All right, move up. Either way, he's taken a very bad point of cover. We can very much exploit this. Rolling. I guess we'll just Moving put you there. Position. Advent forces on the ground. Oh, great. Alright. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but... Let's see. See if we can't uh, deal with the sectoid, please. Of course not. Alright. Do we have that second grenade still available? Yes, but in range is insufficient. Overwatch. Likewise for you, Overwatch. This is not going particularly well. Alright, he's still in full retreat. Good. We do have a couple of overwatches. Let's see what we can get done. Good. We're not super high risk. Favorable. Alright, can we get in close enough to flank? Not really. But it's only half cover. I don't really want to race, waste a grenade on that. Confirmed. You 
you're definitely a step up on him since you've got the full cover. But I need to keep people in reserve for Overwatch. Otherwise, we're going to run into some problems. Alright, so can he get the shot off? Yeah, looks like it. Alright, that'll allow us... Ooh, he's not dead, though. Alright. Well, Overwatch, then. Because he'd want to move up to try and flank, but... Waiting for him. Promotion earned. They're bringing in reinforcements. They're what? Right behind us. Okay. There is still a sectoid running loose that we have no idea where it is. You're going to have to deal with the one hit point sector. You have a grenade. I could just go to Overwatch. You, I... I, I guess we'll just have you up here, even if you're exposed. You. Overwatch. Here. Overwatch. Let's uh surprise them with a welcoming committee, shall we? Killing one. We're not even killing one. That's concerning. Chesting sights. The alien transmission is still active, and we're running out of time. Get to the yeah, I'm working on it, Bradford. ASAP. All right, solutions. You can't quite range with the grenade. Move up. You're just going to have to deal with that on your own. I wasn't expecting a surprise reinforcement uh, battalion from the back. They got me with that one. I'll give them that. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to hit both. I guess we'll just have to do this. Apparently that worked. Okay, so that opened up a hole in the floor. Interesting. It's too risky to leave him alive. But there is absolutely nowhere I can go that is not a awful idea when we calculate in both of them. Oh god, he is actually still alive down there. Uh, okay. Hmm. We need solutions to this. Hypothetically, a few more frag grenades. I think we can do with that, maybe. Yeah, that might work. All right, that's that's not a terrible strategy. We can demolish terrain, right? Let's do that. We're, we'll have high ground and full cover. Well, not full cover, but. That'll do the job. Do 
Did we kill the other guy? Yeah, it looks like it. Well, at least we can't see him anymore. Again, we still have problems with him. So, I'll move you here. Not sure if you'll be able to actually take a shot, but... Hypothetically, you get a frag grenade into this pit. You know what? No, I'm not gonna risk it. Or no, you don't you don't actually have a shot right now, so I want you on Overwatch. Okay, yeah, he did live. I wasn't sure. Jeez. That was rather hyper aggressive. Hmm. Alright. She's stunned. Right. We still have an explosive remaining, which might be enough. You, I mean, I guess, oh, we have to destroy the relay. Yeah, in that case, get to work on that, will ya? Cool. We still have a sectoid running around, I God knows know. where. Aesthetically, yeah, it's possible to hit both of those targets without hitting her. Good, that's all I needed to hear. You, you've got a job. You've got a mission. And I hate to do it like this because everyone needs to succeed. But the odds are favorable. I guess not everyone needs to succeed. We, there is minor room for failure here. But, we'll see. Yeah, you are. Alright, now that the uh, blast radius is clear. Get ready for a surprise. Actually, this will deal four damage because they'll fall. Won't, oh, apparently, fuck, I didn't hit. Oh, that was an accident. Well, alright. Don't fucking fail. Good. <laughs> I was, a grenade was supposed to hit him. I was expecting three damage. I'm like, no wait, that'll cause the fall and it'll go to four. Oh, great. Another sectoid. Alright. Well, I mean, we're not in... T Ooh, and they're grouped up. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, all of our weapons right now, we're just empty. We we need we need a turn. Um Moving out. Headed there now. Alright. Reload. Here. Reload. Okay. It's killing time. It's a shame because all of them are grouped up. This would be the perfect time for your frag. Oh fuck, you're empty too. Oh well. You better be able to hit this frag grenade, by the way. Oh, well, solve this problem for me. Thank you. Menace 1-5, we've confirmed a 
destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. She's a little, you know, forward right now, though. Has no grenade, and her weapon is empty. So I'm kind of concerned. Oh, great, and she's panicked. Considering, you know, all things, could have been a lot worse. She'll be fine there, hopefully. Have to be a little aggressive here. We do have a rookie on the line. I do try and like to get them back alive. Unfortunately, that ambush was a li my or uh, I'm not sure who ambushed who, honestly, uh, with that drop, but. Somebody ambushed somebody. I mean, that would be a way too terrible of a move. Um, unfortunately, we're still a turn away, but hopefully we can catch a dude with a Overwatch. Okay, you can, good. Good. All right, sector down. Panic removed. Oh, nothing. It's nothing. Well, luckily, she's got no bullets. <laughs> Kill confirmed. Wow, would you look at that? Yeah, All right, she needs a turn to reload. So we should straight rush this sectoid, shouldn't we? Because otherwise we're going to have to kill her. Because that sectoid is... Okay, okay. What, what what are we talking about for the sectoid's cover here? Okay, so we can break it if we get to the right. On the move. Next question. Can the sectoid act while mind controlling? I really don't like having her up front. Should have had it the other way around. Oh well. It'll have to do. So yeah. She's got no bullets right now. So she's not a threat. Yep. She's just going to casually do that. Okay, we've got this mission then. Very probably, anyway. This is fine. So. I'm on the move. Let's go uh, have a talk with Mr. Sectoid, shall we? Come on. That's not good. That means we need now five damage on the other one. That's affirmative. This is a very, very poor position for me to be in right now, but I'm gonna try. Three damage on them both. All right. Thirty-eight percent. We're relying on you. There we go. All right. I could have definitely gone worse. I'd say that went pretty well. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down. Right. My weapons not as lethal as I think they are. Mission accomplished. Still excellent rating. Definitely was not the uh, best way to do it, but unfortunately, I wasn't expecting the extra sectoid and the troop in the back. Combine that with the, you know, freaking drop on me. I took care of that drop, but I can only deal with a limited number of surprises per mission. Successful drop percentage, 81% though. Not bad. Alright. One by one.
on we're evening up the score commander good work out there mm hmm sharpshooter okay specialist and another grenadier perfect or no you were a grenadier damn it blast padding gear includes extra layers of padding blast we're gonna Bonus point of armor and 16 minutes damage from explosive attacks. Ooh. Ooh. And Shredder. Your cannon at, uh, attacks Shred Armor. Ooh. Also good. Uh, but I think I have to go with Blast Padding. I mean, an extra point of health. It's pretty good. Alright. You kind of got wounded, but you did pull it off. Ugh, and a Ranger. Yeah, all right. Loot, repeater, and a pile of corpses. Commander, the ongoing stress of combat can shake up even the best of our soldiers. As long as we keep them healthy, I'm sure they'll recover given mm -hmm. time. Now that we've got some help, we can start clearing out the old equipment and debris from the ship to make room for new facilities. Oh, Jesus Christ. The, this is... I have literally been recording for 70 minutes and it's still giving me tutorials. Goodness sakes, game. I'd like to get through the tutorials to call it a video, but this is getting long. Okay. Excavate. Commander, we have a secure transmission coming through. Source unknown. Patching it through to your quarters. Commander, the council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the resistance from the inside. It was these resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. Looks like we better get started, Commander. I'll be on the bridge when you're ready. All right. Commander, our current position is here, just outside Resistance Headquarters. When we're not on the move, this will serve as our home and our source of supplies. The Councilman has tracked the alien black site to this region. Unfortunately, we don't have its exact coordinates yet. If we're going to have any chance of finding this facility, we'll need to make contact with the local resistance cell nearby. Tigan has a theory about how we might reach out to them without getting the alien's attention, but we'll need to give him time to conduct his research. We shouldn't wait too long on that, Commander. We have to start making contact with other regions soon if we're going to build a global resistance and take on Advent. New objective added. Contact the resistance in the Black Site region. Research resistance communications. Fly to the Black Site region. Make contact. Looks like you won't have time for that just yet, though. Remote reconnaissance may have found something not far from our current position. Intact structures. Reward rookies. Avenger plotting new course. <laughs> we're not doing another mission this video. Or the completion of our research, we can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. On your order, we'll start our scans of the surrounding. Okay, areas. so it's not a mission; it's just a air quotes scan. So it's just a slight pastime. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing. Yeah, sign new research. Uh, we would need resistance communications for this, wouldn't we? 
Yes, seven days. Oh, jeez. We'll get to it. Continue the scan then. Cool. Fly back to Resistance HQ. Alright, cool. So that gets us a few extra rookies. We managed to not lose anyone yet. I actually kind of, you know, well, okay, we haven't, shouldn't say that, but we got a couple people in the hospital, but it's fine. Alright. Well, with that, since we're finally out of this tutorial, it's taking a little longer than I expected, uh, I was hoping to get, you know, some non-tutorial stuff in, but unfortunately not. So thank you everybody for watching this uh, lovely little series, and uh, yeah, this is the third, actually, of uh, the Patreon Suggest videos. Definitely gotten a wide set of uh, videos this month. YouTuber's Life. Victoria 2, and now XCOM 2. Alright, well, thank you everybody for watching. This has been your lovely, lovely host, Kelvin, signing off.